Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're gonna to go over a used unit we just got in on our lot. This is a 2018 Merit Stock Combo. It's a 24 foot combo. Out of that 24 foot, you're gonna have a four foot front tack room and then 20 foot of stock area. It's a really cool, really clean used stock trailer, especially for the setup that it is. I know the last time we had one in like this, it went crazy, everyone wanted it. So this is a really cool option for you guys and we'll take you guys through and walk you through the video of this whole thing. Up here under the nose, you're gonna be pretty simple. You'll notice it don't have a spare tire on it right now, and that's just because it hasn't ran through our shop yet. It'll get a spare tire, it'll get brakes worked on, bearings packed, all that good stuff when it runs through our shop. You will just have your single speed manual jack that can be upgraded to a hydraulic jack if that's something you guys wanted to do. If you were hauling a lot of cattle that you didn't want to jack up and down with your hand. And then of course up here on your nose, you will have your safety change, your two and five sixteenths ball, your breakaway brakes that will also be serviced in our shop, as well as your seven pin adapter for your brakes, lights, and stuff like that. As we move down this passenger side of the trailer, you'll notice there are windows up there in your gooseneck area. That's something you don't see a lot in kind of a, you know, a just a stock type trailer like this, just because most of the time you're hauling stock, you're not worried about it. But the cool thing is, is on that four foot front tack, you do have the option that if you wanted to, you could definitely throw a mattress up there and stay in it overnight if you needed to on the side of the road, or if you just needed to crash somewhere if you had a two day haul somewhere. Coming down the side of this, again, you will notice it is just ported with your air holes, your holes and then your bigger ones up top. The cool thing I like about them is it gives you plenty of tie out points. Not only will you have your little D-ring tie out points for a little sturdier tie out, but you'll be able to tie to these holes, lower, higher, however you want to tie. You just got to be kind of careful because they are kind of not sharp edge, but sharper than you'd like for a tie ring. So if you've got a horse or a steer or something like that that likes to pull back, that could tip to cut your rope a little easier on one of these holes. But I like it just because it gives you so many options to tie on the side of this trailer. And then again, right down here on your tires, we do have your tires, your steel wheels, and then your you know, your simulator hubcap covers. Again, they will pull those wheels and tires off. When they got them pulled off and they're checking the brakes and everything on this trailer, they will pack those bearings for you guys. So you'll be getting a top notch serviced up and ready to go trailer. Cool thing I like about it is the way they box out this wheel well. It gives you a nice little place to jump up and check on your animals. And then it gives you a nice place to set, set stuff too. A lot of times you won't get a good flat surface that's long enough like this to put water buckets on. So if you're hauling show cattle, you're hauling horses or something like that, it gives you a cool option to be able to set water buckets or grain buckets and feed whatever you're hauling right here. As we move around to the load side of this trailer, it is a single rear gate. So this whole rear gate will open up and give you the option, you know, have this wide open to load animals in here, or you got this slider option here. So it will be a 50% slider, which I have, how I have it open now. So if you were just loading one or two animals or offloading one or two, and didn't want to have that possibility of having them all run out over the top of you, the slider grate's a great option for you guys. In this stock area, I think it's a prime example of how clean this used stock trailer is. Typically you have a used stock trailer that you're hauling cattle in most of the time, and it's going to be pawed and beat up and dented and dinged, and this one's just got minor scratches, you know, typical of hauling stuff, but nothing like you would see in a typical stock trailer. So it's a really clean, lightly used 2018 stock trailer. You're going to have your 20 foot of stock space because this is a 24 foot combo with that four foot front tack. So 20 foot of stock space, you're seven wide or seven three wide, seven foot tall. So you have plenty of room to haul horses, cattle, whatever you can fit in this trailer, you're going to have no problem unless you get into those bigger draft, you know, trotter type horses. You will also have a center cut gate for if you did want to separate stuff, you do have a center cut gate. Cool thing I like about it is I can't really show you guys from the inside, but I'll show you from the outside in a little bit. You do have the double options to run both this latch from the inside. For example, if you wanted to offload stuff from the inside, you'd just pull that latch like that. The cool thing about it, say you got a bull loading in the front, mean bull, you're trying to unload them in your pasture, you will have the same latch from the outside. So you can open your back gate, you got your bull in front, and you can hit that latch from the outside, and this will just swing back on its own. He can run out on his own. You don't have to worry about being in here with you know, an animal that could typically harm you. And then once you're not using this gate, if you just want to use it light open, it will pin out of here, out of the way for you guys. So you can fit much more stuff in here. It'll typically fit a bunch of cattle, a bunch of horses, but the cool thing I like about it with that full swing gate in the back, you can load UTVs, ATVs. So you can use this as kind of an all around trailer, especially with its open box style like it's set up. You will have some LED lights in here. You'll have one in your front pin, one in your back pin if you're using this as two pin system. Again, they're LEDs. They're gonna really light this up and give you guys 
you know, enough light to be able to check on your animals, but also enough light to be able to kind of see what you're doing when you're loading and offloading early mornings and late nights. Like I talked on the outside, you're going to have plenty of tie points. You can easily tie to any of these tie outs. You will have a couple D rings in here as well if you wanted to tie to a more secure, you know, not a sharp point like I was talking. But again, you're going to have plenty of tie points up low and high in this trailer. And you'll also get an escape door in this trailer. I'll kind of show you guys. We'll walk back out the outside and I'll show you how it functions. But again, more versatility is also welcomed in stock combos just because you're going to have that big door. You have your 50, spent, your 50 split system back there. And then with that front gate, if you did need to jump something off without opening that back gate, or if you didn't want to offload your back animals, you can always jump them off the front of this trailer. It also gives you that ability to be able to load stuff and get out that front door as well if that's something you guys needed to do. This floor is full rubber matted, so again, you're going to have some cushioning for whatever you're hauling, and again, it'll be easier to clean for you guys. Um, you can power wash this out, pull mats, and keep it power washed out and nice and clean for you guys. If you jump out and move down the head side, it's going to look pretty typical of that passenger side as well. cool thing I like about this trailer that kind of flashes it up a little bit is you do have this kind of gold painted top rail. I think it's a really cool flashy look. It doesn't go over the top really, but it just kind of makes this trailer pop a little bit and gives it a little bit of flair. Again, steel wheels, they will repaint those wheels. You can see where that steel, uh, that steel primer they use on these wheels is kind of peeling a little bit. So when it runs through our shop and they do the brakes and bearings and everything like that, they will repaint those wheels. They'll touch up anything that needs touched up on this trailer. So this trailer will look really clean for you guys. Something I forgot to mention on the other side, you also have amber uh, turn signals on each side of this trailer. You have one on the other side and this side. So that way when you turn your blinker on, any cars right next to you are going to be able to look over and see that versus not being able to see your, you know, your rear turn signals when you're turning. So again, it helps you see your turn signals and your clearance lights a little better. But it also helps cars around you tend to avoid you a little better as well. Here's that escape door view from the outside. So again, in an emergency, you could definitely hop some animals off here um, or yourself as well. It's always awesome to have that little bit of leeway as far as access points into a trailer. It just helps how you can load stuff, offload stuff, and helps keep you and your animals a little safer. And the cool thing about it is you do get a tack room in this trailer. So like I talked, it is tall enough. You can fit horses in this trailer. You will have your four tier saddle rack here. This is fully adjustable. There's just little nuts holding each one of these on so you can loosen those off and slide these to whatever position you want or remove them if you only wanted three or two, for example. And then behind me, I kind of talked, if you wanted to throw a bed in here, you definitely could. You do have those windows up there in the nose. It's maybe not gonna be as homey as a living quarters, but it'll definitely get you by if you need to sleep somewhere on the side of the road or if you're past your hour limit hauling some cattle. But you can definitely throw a mattress up here then here on your partition wall, your dividing wall between your stock area and your uh, tack room here, you will have some bridle hooks up high, as well as three brush trays down your wall right there. So again, it's gonna keep your stuff really organized and keep it from floating around this trailer. And then you will have a blanket bar right here that's typically long enough for two size blankets, flip it over there. The reason I like using these, you don't see them a lot in newer trailers, but they will keep your blankets nice and secure up against that wall, so you're not gonna have to worry about them falling down or rattling around and having to re-put them up there when you get where you're going. Cool thing I want to point out too as well, when we step out of this trailer, is I kind of talked about living in it just a tick, but you will also have a screen door option on this trailer as well. So again, if you were crashing in or maybe needed to get out of the, get out of the weather a little bit, if it was raining and you were waiting for a cattle show or a sale or something like that, you could always jump in here, get out of the rain, close that screen door and get that nice airflow for you guys in there. So again, they kind of set this up as a really cool setup trailer. Horses, cattle, pigs, sheep, whatever you want to use it for. And if you even wanted to crash in for the weekend, they kind of set you up for that as well. So again, it's a really cool combo by Merit Trailers. It's a 2018. It is a used trailer that'll get fully serviced through our shop. So you don't have to worry about anything on this trailer. It should clean up really nicely for you guys. If you're interested in this trailer, the stock number for this trailer is going to be 5U220194. Again, it's a 2018 Merit stock combo, 24 foot floor length, for that is going to be your tack room, and then you will have a 20-foot stock area on this trailer as well. You're going to be about 32-foot overall if you take into account that front nose. So again, it's a really nice sized trailer to be able to kind of haul whatever you guys are looking for, whether it be from animals all the way up to your UTVs and your ATVs. So we are getting some used inventory in for you guys. I know this trailer, it's a really cool trailer. The last one we had, it got a bunch of interest. They just don't make trailers kind of like this anymore. You don't see them very often. So when they do hit, they're very popular. So if you are interested in this trailer, go ahead and give me a call. 
Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest. Phone number is 303-684-3409. And if you want to check out the link below this video, it will be posted. You can check out this trailer, and it'll also take you to a list of all our other trailers we have available on order or coming in here soon. So feel free to check those out and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner. Thanks for tuning in.